Sheridan's learned from genealogist Eileen of a second cousin who's been researching their shared family history. I'm hoping it's going to be nice. <laughs> Not quite so heartbreaking. <laughs> Louisa Gingell's also a great-great-granddaughter of Benjamin Doubleday. Oh, family. I know. I met. <laughs> how are you? Very well, how are you? I'm good. Yeah. Thank you for coming to see me. No, it's an absolute pleasure. Oh, I've got so much to talk to you about. I <laughs> oh, shall I sit seat. down here with you? Ah. Oh. <laughs> I feel quite emotional. I know. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. I've got so much I want to ask you. There's so many kind of question marks now yes. over over what what happened around that time and where mm. did Sarah Jane and the kids go? Right. Well, I can tell you what happened to Sarah Jane. This is the census from 1901. So that's, what, five or six years after they left the pub. Right. In Sheffield. And she's gone to Birmingham. She's in Birmingham? Yes. If you have a look, here she is. And she's only got two of the children with her. What, so, which children has she got with her? She's got William, so our great-grandfather, and their youngest sister, Caroline. Wow, so what happened to May and Harriet? They're actually in Sheffield, down here. Benjamin Doubleday, May and Harriet. Yes, they're all living together. So they stayed with Benjamin? Yes. Wow, my goodness. Mm. So there's Benjamin, listed as a music teacher. So after his arrest and after everything else and yes. being found not guilty, he's still teaching music? Yes, he's teaching music. <laughs> I'm brilliant. And uh, if you look underneath, yeah. his two daughters, May is listed as a professional pianist. And Harriet is also called Etty is listed as a professional vocalist. <gasps> so Harry and May stayed with him and they were all just still doing music. Can I show you a picture? Yes, yes. Do you, have you ever seen this picture? Well. Wow. <laughs> is that them? It's them, yeah. <laughs> yes. So this is May. Yeah. And this is Etty. She's Harriet. But known in the family as uh, Etty. Etty! So they did keep doing music? Yes, they did. And, you know, not just here, but if you have yeah. a look here... Yeah. There's a playbill which shows you the performing in... The Vaudeville Circuit. Wow. In London, Bradford, Leeds... Have... And that's from the... The Palace West Hollywood. Wow. Yeah. If you have a look inside, oh, goodness, look how old that is. How have you found all this? <gasps> the Daryl Trio. That's what my dad said they were called the Daryl Trio. Yes. Wow. Oh gosh, it's all kind of coming together. Yes. Finally. And, <laughs> and here's some of their publicity. Gosh, look. A father and two girls. <gasps> wow. The world's greatest lady banjoist. And that's May Fanning. That's May. Yes. And Daryl, where will the name Daryl come from? I really don't know. But they would have changed it. After all the notoriety, maybe they didn't want to remind people that they were associated with that. Oh, gosh, what a relief that it didn't knock him completely. Yes, yes. And he got back on the banjo, so we say. Yes. <laughs> and there's May uh, with Benjamin. With Benjamin. Oh, what a beautiful picture of the two of them there. Yes. I feel like that's like me and my dad going <laughs> so weird. Yeah. Oh gosh, how amazing. Yes. But unfortunately, all of this didn't last for very much longer. And um no. yes. <laughs> I've got something now to show you. It's a death certificate. <clears throat> Benjamin Doubleday, teacher of music, age fifty. 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 Mm. Cause of death. That's heart, heart disease. Heart disease. Yes. Fifty years of age. Yes. Oh no. Does, does it say where or what caused it? Just, just to, that's just. 
there is a harder, more difficult story that was passed down through the family that my grandmother repeated to me was that he always had a problem with alcohol and that um, when he died, he actually collapsed and was drunk. Whatever his problems with drink, um, he was very highly respected. And I've got here a transcription of an obituary that was written about him when he died. We regret to announce the death of Mr B Doubleday of Sheffield, the well-known teacher of the banjo, mandolin and guitar. He was professionally known by the name of Daryl, the Daryl Trio, including himself and his two clever daughters. Mm -hmm. Miss May Daryl, be an exceptionally fine banjo player. Mm -hmm. Mr Doubleday's death removes one from the ranks of banjo, mandolin and guitar devotees and who was at all times a thorough teacher and gifted artist. He will be much missed by many friends in the profession who mourn his loss. Banjo will May 1907. Yes. What, what a nice thing to be said about him. You know? Yes. A well-respected yes. and highly skilled artist that he was. Mm. Well, that's beautiful to keep, isn't yes. it? I think it's best to remember him like, like that. Like that, definitely.